Okay. How uncomfortable do you feel right now? <laughs> no, I yeah. think as an engineer, this is not my natural habitat. No. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what makes Johnson Mathy an exciting place to work at? World leaders in certain technologies, and we're constantly innovating them and we're pushing them out to the world. I just really like the breadth of, of things that we yeah. go into and then the depth of experience that everyone, everyone seems to have. So. Uh, how would your parents describe what it is you do and what do you actually do? My parents still have no idea what I do. My parents would probably say that I design chemical plants. What would you like them to say? Um, I would like them to say that I'm changing the world and I'm making a massive difference. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Almost like making the, the building blocks for how we live and figuring out how to do that on a safely, scale. Yeah, yeah, on a big <clears throat> scale, safely, cheaply, without damaging the environment. Yeah. Next one. Uh, what is... The thing that motivates you to do what you do. I think the project that we're working on is a really important project. It's going to have a very positive impact. And I think it's also a good opportunity for me to develop myself as a junior engineer. It's really interesting you hearing all about global warming and we need to decarbonise to net zero. The idea that you're working on something that does go from paper to an actual legitimate plan, yep. often halfway across the world, is quite mad sometimes. Okay, what is? Your dream engineering project. <laughs> I always wanted to travel to space, so I would like to work on a project with NASA, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I think I'm doing some of my dream yeah. engineering projects. What I uh, enjoy about working at JM is that you're working on projects um, where you feel like you're making a, a positive impact and sustainability. Being able to work on some like the biggest sustainable aviation fuel plants that yeah. exist. A lot of the projects we work on do have strap lines like that because they are some of the first things to be happening in the world. We're working on leading projects that are going to deliver UK targets for hydrogen production for 2030. That's really important to me, so I'm happy to be working on something that will hopefully make a difference. What are the unique qualities that senior engineers bring to Johnson Mathy? Uh, I think I'll give that one to you, Mark. I don't know how to answer this if I'm setting a bit up myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we have some fantastic senior engineers yeah. that know when to take on the responsibility for something that like shouldn't be a junior engineer's job, but also know when to impart enough information to empower you. I think we can draw on, uh, you know, experiences that we've had in our career to do it. Using that to solve problems and complete projects in the best way and make sure that everything you've learned is incorporated. Next one. Um, who are you inviting to a dinner party and why? Two celebrity picks and one JM pick. I would invite Stuart for the jokes. Okay. And that would be the entertainment. Elvis Presley. I quite like his uh, music, I'd have a chat with him, and possibly Albert Einstein. I'm trying to think of who the GM pick would be first. Well, I'm sat right next to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the obvious one to go for is David Attenborough. Oh, that's a solid show. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll say you for my one GM pick. That's nice. Thank yeah. You. yeah. I'm in agreement with David Attenborough. We could probably have the same dinner. What is the future looking like for Johnson Matthey? I think the future is looking quite bright. Um, since I've joined Johnson Mathy, um, every year we've been winning more and more different projects in the sustainability space. So we're currently developing stuff to make it less carbon intensive, uh, more efficient in the processes. We're also doing projects in a lot of different regions. Yes, we yeah. have previously, a lot of the ones I've worked on have been in India and China, but increasingly we're doing a lot in the US and in Europe and it just gives a different spread to what yeah. we're working on. What would you be if you weren't an engineer? I feel like I'd go completely rogue and um, be like an artist of some description. I'd like to say uh, I would have been a pilot, but glasses, so maybe not. <laughs> so I think I'd probably be like an electrician or a mechanic mm. or a plumber or something. So something practical and technical still, yeah. Probably a chemist. I'd probably be doing R&D, to be <laughs> honest. Like, yeah, I was about to say, I guess I like drawing and painting, so maybe mm. somewhere in the in art field. As a youngster, I used to have a dream to be a footballer. Never quite, oh. <laughs> never quite made it. Okay, have you got an engineering joke to tell? Ah, oh, God. No. no, I don't. Um, yeah, no, I'm completely blanking. So, how do you know when you're speaking to an extroverted engineer? 
They look they, at your shoes rather than their own. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's pretty fair. <laughs> <laughs>